What's going on, nerds? My name is Jesse, and we're back here for a long-awaited reaction. I haven't posted a video on my channel in maybe a year, maybe two years. Not really sure. But we're going to try to make a run at uploading more videos. We're going to start with some Bill Burr reactions, maybe some Bo Burnham stuff if there's anything I haven't seen. Uh, feel free to recommend stuff. I don't really know what to watch. I'm just going to be sticking to stuff that's somewhere in the comedy realm. But I'm open to reacting to anything, so... Let me know what you want me to see in the comments, and yeah, let's get into it. This is Bill Burr, best of Netflix is a joke. All right. No, everything has just become fucking absolute in, 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 in the States. It's fucking nuts. Like that Colin Kaepernick guy, right? You knew when he was like okay. protesting during the Colin national Kaepernick. anthem, no one was going to listen to what the fuck he had to say. No matter True. how much he explained it, because I'm taking a knee during the national anthem. This is a protest about police brutality, the way right. people of color are treated. We'd like to open a dialogue. He got about halfway through that. People are like, my brother's fighting. I want you fucking take the shit. Right, right. Like, yeah, fighting. people don't see the context. Right, right. Nobody is saying your brother isn't in Iraq fighting. You're, you're not listening. This is about police brutality. My brother's a firefighter. He watched 9 11 on television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like once Nobody removed. Saying, yeah, for sure. Go get it fixed, man. Go get it fixed. That's what it became. You ever try to get abs? You ever try to... Yeah, I mean, the whole Colin Kaepernick thing, it really wasn't about... Uh, or people didn't really see the context of what he was actually taking an E for and what he was standing for, right? It wasn't about his message. It was about the national anthem and you don't respect the flag and all that. Get all the abs and get that shit down here. You ever try to do it? It's fucking impossible. Yeah. Very, very Half difficult. the age of 19, you can't do it without tons of help. You, you can only tell him I had abs when I was like 25. Tape. You gotta read about nutrition. You gotta get a personal trainer having you fucking running along. Uh -huh. You need like your own chef. And he's like, okay, don't eat it yet. Don't eat it yet. All right, now, eat it. Start consuming it. All right, stop. <laughs> Slow down, stop, stop. Spit it out. Spit oh, it out. Geez. I told you to stop. Get on yes. the electrical. Now you like that Brussels sprout? Did you like that Brussels sprout? But now you're paying for it. Need some Navy it's SEAL to get in your face. Experience. Yeah. Just walking I can imagine. around, your whole body's eating yourself. You know, you want some cake? No. No, I'll just take a salad. <laughs> Balsamic vinaigrette on the side. No croutons. Yeah. Oh just straight God. brainwash. Wait, it's a photo shoot. I want to kill myself. It's horrible. <laughs> you ever try to get fat? <laughs> you don't no. have to try, Bill. You don't have to. Yeah, it's exactly. effortless. Yes. You can fucking lay on your back watching your favorite show. <laughs> just shoveling shit down your throat. What right. are you doing? I'm getting fat. <laughs> I'm getting fat. You got a trainer? Don't need one. No. Natural. It's easy, baby. It's I easy. just eat everything that makes my sugar salt go like, yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Comes right in. Nice roll of fucking slab. For Look, sure. I wasn't, I, I didn't come from a family. I don't know about you guys. I didn't come from a touchy-feely. Call me when you get there. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I definitely mom, came from a family similar to that, yeah. Once when I was little and my I, mom was I very moved much out, like that. that was it. <laughs> and we only hugged because we knew we were supposed to. So we just tried to like, it was like two parking meters. Super awkward. Life, like, we almost bumped heads. It was horrific. <laughs> Fucking horrific. You know, this you know, it is kind of crazy when you think about it. You only know your upbringing. You don't really know everybody else's situation so you think what's normal to you is not really normal to somebody like him right like my mom hugged me when i was a kid a lot my dad not really so much but you know, i think that's just the era that he was raised in and it's just so makes me it's so awful i have to like shout the memory out of my head i'll just keep i wonder why this anybody one is black like and white kind of cool i did it like shout stuff out of your head like yeah. there's something about me, like all my regret comes up when I'm in the shower. I don't okay. know what it is. I think because I'm in the shower and I have time to think. It's true. And I'll just think of shit I did in like third grade where I just made an ass of myself, but I just go be in the shower just being like, ah! That's ah. true. You could have some deep regret <laughs> going in the and back of your mind. my wife's always just like, is everything okay in there? And I'll just be like, yeah, I yeah, just accidentally turned on uh, the hot water. Right, flush the toilet or something, yeah. Every day? 
Every day, be haunting them. Can't oh. get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> I actually asked my mother one time when I finally got out in the world and I saw how other families interacted. I finally asked her one day. I was like, "How come we never did the hugging thing?" Oh, here we go. You know what I mean? How come we didn't yeah. do that stuff? Yeah. Why not? Like, well, Ma. I wanted to hug you kids when you were little, but I was afraid it was gonna make you gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, really? No. And I was not like, possible. You were afraid. You were afraid. And then she goes, "Well, it was your father. That's why." Well, Protecting him like I always do. He was afraid. Yeah. He said, you don't know how to raise boys. And you hug them. And that's what's going to happen. So, in a marriage, you there's compromises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yes. she basically never hugged us because my dad said if she did, he was going to make us gay. Right. 100% confirms that will happen. And I got to tell you, that was a great <laughs> thing that my dad did for me. Yeah. Let tell me, me about it, Bill. Before you start blogging, okay? I'm not a blogger. And I end up on a split screen on Good Morning Atlanta, you know? Comedy, can it go too far? Last night was <laughs> Yeah. It was pretty crazy how far the... It's pretty crazy how far the PC culture is, is gone to where comedy is kind of getting watered down because you just can't really say what you used to be able to say because outrage culture and cancel culture is so big that making jokes that are, quote, unacceptable... It's just terrible. It's it's bad for comedy, and, and guys like, you know, Bill Burr really break the mold in that area. Keto eating blogger. So, yeah, this is the deal. I'm gonna defend my dad here because this is okay. what happens. Here we go. When you have a kid, as far as I know, I don't have any kids. But as far as I would think, if you have a fucking kid, I just had a baby to, boy. By the way, on your childhood. He is okay? one you month old. The shit that your parents did that worked. And then you want to get rid of the stuff that didn't work. So that was my sure, dad. Definitely. Fucked up his that is definitely the experience I'm going through right now. Um, yeah, I mean, you think about how you were raised and you, you just kind of cherry pick the good shit out of there. That was, that was his improvement on his childhood that he never okay. talks about. The way a veteran doesn't talk about going to war. <laughs> you know? So I figure if that was. Well, veterans are talking more now. There's lots of books out there now. On his childhood, his childhood just was, must have been something like don't change his shitty diaper, let him figure it out. <laughs> Do it your fucking self, boy. <laughs> yes. So, he took it from that. Okay. And knocked it down to, don't hug him, it's going to make him gay. <laughs> right? Okay. And then maybe someday I have a kid, I'll whittle it down to, like, hey, he's not taking drama class. All right? <laughs> okay. He's not taking drama class because I said so, lady. Yes. We don't know how to raise boys. <laughs> I won't fix everything. Um, yeah, and that's not a homophobic thing either. But okay. I wouldn't send my hypothetical really son it's very to drama class. Okay. okay? Hit me with it. It isn't. I would send... I'd let my, my hypothetical daughter take a drama class, okay? Okay. My son can't fucking do any of that shit unless I'm sending him to one of those fame high schools, you know, <laughs> where everybody's going... High school in, musicals and shit. ...creative schools... Go to the cafeteria. High school is a modern fucking potato. classic. Right? <laughs> like, Eddie can do all he wants. Eddie can do all the fuck he wants. <laughs> Dope. That was awesome. Okay, let's see here. It's been a long time. It goes this one. <laughs> all right. Okay, so that's the first reaction in a super long time. Bill Burr is the fucking man. Um, super funny dude. Very. Uh, He's kind of a thought-provoking guy. He really makes you kind of think about the shit. Um, you know, definitely going through some of those things, raising my own son. And yeah, I mean, if you got any reactions for me, just throw them in the comments down below. Uh, give me a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I think it's like 90% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you're liking the shit, please feel free to leave me a sub. And yeah, I'll be back with some more videos. Later.